Okay, we're going to take a look at the song uh, by Within Temptation called The Whole World Is Watching. Um, and this is for the acoustic guitar, obviously. Um, you'll need a capo on the first fret. Uh, if you don't have one of these, if you just follow the link above my finger here, that will show you how to make a homemade capo with just a pencil and some rubber bands. So this will allow you to play along with the original. Um, the chords are quite simple. There's only about five chords in it, and I'll show you how to, which chords they are. The trickiest part is the the, the finger-picking intro part. If you're beginners, then uh, it might be a bit challenging for you, and I suggest maybe slowing it down on Winamp or Windows Media Player until you can pick up the speed. Um, otherwise, you can just strum the intro, and I'll show you how to do that later. Um, as for the finger-picking intro part, I just listened to it myself. It's not 100% accurate, but as you all know, I'm still learning myself, so as I learn stuff, uh, I'm just showing what I learn, and hopefully it's useful to some of you. So, um, yeah, it's as close as I could get it anyway, uh, but I don't think it's 100% accurate and I couldn't find any tabs on the web for the intro. So, um, first of all, I will start with the chords, and the chords you'll need are A minor, and because the capos on the first fret are referred to, this is the first, second, third, and fourth fret now. So, A minor, and that's uh, first finger on the second string of the first fret, and your second and third fingers on the uh, third and fourth string of the second fret. Okay, that's your A minor, and then you need a C, and a C is just your first finger on the uh, second string of the first fret, your second finger on the fourth string of the second fret, and uh, your third finger on the fifth string of the third fret. You'll also need a G. A G, uh, first finger on the fifth string of the second fret, second finger on the sixth string of the third fret and your third finger on the um, on the first string of the third fret okay and then you need a D minor and a D minor is first finger on the first string of the uh, first fret and uh, second finger on the third string of the second fret and your third finger on the second string of the third fret and the only other one you'll need now unfortunately is a bar chord so if you're just beginning you might find it a bit tricky and um, that's bar. You have to bar all the strings on the first fret, and then your uh, your first finger goes on the third string of the second fret, and your third and fourth finger go on the fourth and fifth strings of the uh, third fret. And if you're finding it quite difficult to get that without getting the buzzing sound, just push your body into the guitar until you build the strength up in your fingers. Um, so those are the chords. Um, and now we'll look at the uh, the the uh, finger picking intro part. Okay, uh, the finger picking intro part starts something like this. And that repeats uh, three times, well I repeat it three times in the song anyway. Um, the first part's instrumental, then you repeat that sequence with, with her singing, and then you repeat the sequence again with him uh, singing, and uh, then you go into your strumming when she starts singing. Okay, so um, this is really good practice for getting your finger picking going. Uh, you can do it with a pick if you feel more comfortable with a pick. Um, okay, so we get into the, uh, with this hand, we get into the A, a minor chord form. Okay, and what we do is we start on the fifth string, and we work our way down through the strings. So I'm plucking fifth string, fourth string, third string, second string. Then I'm going fourth, uh, so it's fifth string, fourth string, third string, second string. Then I go back up again, third string, fourth string, fifth string. And then we go back down to the fourth string. But before we hit the fourth string, we need to lift that middle finger up. So if we put that all together, it should sound like this. lifting that finger up and then here comes a tricky bit you then go into the C shape quickly uh, so you're into the C shape and with the C shape we're doing exactly the same uh, um, strings again so it's fifth string fourth string third string second string then back up third string fourth string fifth string and again we go back down to the fourth string and again we left lift our little uh, your middle finger up so in that form you should have this.
okay and then we go to a G and with the G you're hitting this the uh, low E string so the sixth string you're skipping the fifth string on this occasion and you're going straight to the fourth so it's sixth string fourth string third string second string and then we work our way back up again third string fourth string and this time we do hit the fifth string fifth string and then fourth string so what we should have it should sound like this okay and then from there we go to the D minor okay and with this one we're starting on the fourth string and we're, pluck, we're plucking the fourth string third string second string first string and then you're lifting your first finger off and then you go back to the second string third string and then back down to the second string let me just repeat that again so in D minor shape four string third string second string first string first finger off and pluck the first string again then you go back to the second string third string and then finish on the second string and that is the whole sequence. So playing that slowly, starting with the A minor. G. And D minor. And that is all of it so just start that very slowly and um, what I would suggest is playing the song in Winamp or Windows Media Player or there is a little app you can load onto Winamp which allows you to uh, to slow down the song so then you can play along with it really slowly Okay, as I said, it's not 100% accurate. That's all I could pick up, and obviously I'm still learning, so I don't have the skill to pick it up 100% at the moment. Um, but uh, that sounds more or less right, and you can play along with the song using that chord sequence. And, uh, and it, just stick with it. It does take practice, and it can be frustrating, but each time you put down your guitar and you come back a few hours later, or the next day, suddenly things start clicking into, space, into place, and your fingers seem to know where to be and what they're doing. So um, yeah, stick with it. Next, we'll look at the uh, the strumming and uh, how to how to work your way through the so song with uh, with a particular strum. Okay, so we just looked at the finger picking intro part to the song, and if that's too advanced for you at the moment, you find that a bit too difficult. You can just strum along with the song, and the, the chord sequence is the same as the finger picking sequence. So it's just A minor, C, G, um, D minor. So that goes on until they hit the, the chorus, that sequence, all the way through. Um, and it repeats through a lot of the song, to be honest. But um, when, when they start singing The Whole World Is Watching You, then it changes to an F and then a D minor. Um, uh, so I play the, the intro finger picking part. And then when she sings I Know You, you Wish For More, that's when I do. Just simple downward strokes. The only thing I would say is to accentuate uh, some of the downward strokes. So it would sound like this. And when you put it together, it's... And I do that through a lot of the song. Um, I only begin to mix it up when they get to the chorus part, uh, when they sing the whole world is watching, uh, watching you rise, so it's... So all I'm doing there is...
I'm just doing that uh, whenever I'm about to change the chords. Or... That's all I'm doing. And you can put that in any point, point of the song. So you can just downward strokes. So now I'll do it now. So uh, I, I mix throughout the song. So if you see in the video, sometimes I'm just doing downward strokes, and other times I'm doing a lot of. And that's everything you need to know. Um, I will play the song now and I will put the chords up on screen so they come ahead just ahead of time um, so that you can play along if you if you like to. And uh, I will put the tabs below in, in, in the description box below um, so you can look at the tabs as well and if you can change certain things you don't like. And uh, yeah, good luck if you have any questions. Um, feel free to leave your comments. And uh, as I said, I just uh, put the these are the chords that sound right to me and uh, if you think you can do a better job please upload your tutorials and share them with shigaru.com that's what we're all about finding the best tutorials on the web and uh, categorizing them giving them levels genres and uh, proper titles and it's just an easy way to find uh, your tutorials uh, so good luck with your with your song and um, I'll see you again soon